Hello again, I'm Matthew from TheWetPen.com, and I said last time that my next video would be a short one, and this is it. And this is a commonly found ink from India called Toppers. This is an ink that is available in blue, black, green, and red. I only have the black, unfortunately, but what makes this brand interesting isn't really the ink anyway, it's the bottles. First of all, you can see that the ink is sold in these tall, plastic 60 milliliter bottles, and it's clear that these are intended for school children, because at the bottom of the label, there are lines for kids to write their name and class. But that's not the interesting part. On the back of the bottle, we get some information about the company. They're based out of Tamil Nadu, and the MSRP for the ink is 40 rupees in their home state. That's about 50 to 60 cents in US dollars. But enough of that. Let me show you what is interesting about this ink. Here on the front label, it says that this is a selfie bottle and cartridge refiller that motivates new ideas, no less. And if we remove the cap here, and also this little inner cap, we can see the narrow filling nozzle that is designed to fit inside international standard cartridges. So if you're a kid at school and your pen has just gone dry, you can pull out your cartridge and this bottle, do a quick refill job, and get back to work. It's quick and efficient, it reduces plastic waste from cartridges, and in a school classroom, this is probably a much safer option than wide-mouthed bottles of ink when it comes to the risk of spills. And of course, you could also fill a converter or an eyedropper pen this way too. I think it's a great idea. Well, as long as we're here, let's see what this black ink looks like. I'm going to start out with a few swatches on some of my favorite papers. Here is Rhodia, Tomoe River, and Midori. This ink is very smooth going onto paper. That's nice. Now I'll let this dry for a few minutes and see how it changes. With that done, you can see that it remains pretty dark. The tone is on the warm side, just a little bit brown. And on the Tomoe River, you might be able to see that there's a bit of brownish bronze sheen. And since we've looked at a couple of other Indian black inks recently, let's see how this one compares. Here we have the Camelin black on the left, the Brill black in the middle, and of course this is the toppers in the little beaker on the right. This is interesting. First of all, the Camelin and Brill inks are both obviously cooler in tone than the toppers. But the toppers is also darker in the thin areas of the swatch, so I don't expect there to be much in the way of shading from this ink. And finally, I will leave you with a quick writing sample. Sticking with my Indian theme, I'm writing on Ayush paper, which does a good job with shading. I'm starting with a fine nib in a Gamma eyedropper pen that has a wonderful nib. Normally, I don't like fine nibs much, but I like this one. Next, I've moved on to a broad nib in an FPR Himalaya. And finally, I finished up with this great little pocket pen called the Proton Flora from the Indian company V-Sign, and this is a medium nib. 
As you can see though, there's not much shading on offer, regardless of the nib size with this Topper's ink. It's pretty much just a good solid, plain old black ink. This ink does have really good flow, it's nice and wet, but I haven't had any problems with feathering or bleed through on any of the papers that I've tried so far. And that's it for this video. I think that the next video is where this series is going to start getting interesting, so if you're not subscribed already, this is a good time to do it. Stay safe out there everyone, and enjoy all of your inks.